12.5% increase to SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, starting on October 1st. I have all the details and what you need to know about this raise right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, a nice big 12.5% raise for about 43 million SNAP beneficiaries, otherwise known as Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also called food stamps. Now, this raise is coming as a result of the annual cost of living adjustment or COLA raise for SNAP beneficiaries. Not to be mistaken with the annual cost of living adjustment or COLA raise for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. Now, the annual COLA for SNAP benefits goes into effect on October 1st. Meanwhile, the annual COLA for Social Security and all the other fixed income benefits goes into effect on January 1st. So, in this video, we are specifically focusing on SNAP benefits, the new bigger raise, when it's going into effect, how much you're going to be getting, and what do you need to do in order to get your higher benefit. We'll be talking about all those details here in the video, so let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm watching all this new information, hitting the wire every single day, doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now as things are changing very rapidly and of course as we continue to get all these announcements out of the administration the president lawmakers congress and everything that congress is currently working on right now including all the bills and packages proposals and amendments reform to very important fixed income benefits and of course anything in regards to money checks programs raises to benefits stimulus anything else along these lines of course i'm watching it all very 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 closely, bringing you those updates here in the videos, because I understand money is very, very tight right now for the vast majority of people, especially the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. And if I find anything that we can get our hands on and we can grab our share, of course, I'm going to be right here for you, breaking it down and letting you know what's going on, what's available to you. And of course, also talking about other very important topics, just like what we're covering right here in this video in regards to SNAP benefits, the higher benefits going out as of October 1st, 2022, and everything else you need to know. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss any videos going forward, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day to help you out in any way that I possibly can. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about all the details here. All right, so... This is a very important update here because there's a lot of things that are going on. And like I said, this is going to impact about 43 million SNAP beneficiaries. Now, I know interchangeably the program is called SNAP, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, but a lot of people do refer to it as food stamps. Now, it's all virtually the same thing. Um, of course, technically, it's called SNAP benefits, but, you know, it used to be called food stamps, and that's what a lot of people still call it. That's okay. It's all referring to the same thing. Food assistance is what it comes down to. The money that is loaded onto your EBT card, electronic balance transfer card, where you can go out to the grocery store and buy the necessary foods that you need every single month, right? All right, so... Did you know that starting October 1st of every single year, you get a raise and it's a COLA raise? Yes, just like the COLA raise that you get for your fixed income benefit, like all the benefits I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you also get a, a COLA raise for SNAP benefits as well. Did you know that? Well, guess what? It's coming this year and it's actually pretty big. 12.5% is what it is and it's going into effect on October 1st, 2022. The reason for that is this is the start of the new fiscal year. So we have two different years. We have the fiscal year and we have the calendar year, right? So when you whip open a calendar, January 1st through December 31st is the calendar year, right? However, the federal government has a fiscal year. The fiscal year simply means it starts on October 1st and runs through September 30th. That is the fiscal year for the federal government. And that is how SNAP benefits are actually you know, distributed. It's based on the fiscal year and raises are based on the fiscal year as well, not the calendar year for SNAP benefits. When it comes to the other fixed income benefits, those go by the calendar year. Super confusing, right? Yeah, I know. Why they don't make it simple? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, why can't they just make it simple? But anyway... This is how they do it. So let me tell you the details about this raise to benefits. Again, 12.5%, it is what it is for SNAP benefits. Not bad, considering food inflation is very, very high right now. 
Uh, it's a nice big raise, but to be totally fair though, the last inflation report that we saw that just came out, inflation on food is up over 13.5%. In fact, it's almost 14% on food. So to be totally fair, the 12.5% raise that we're getting for SNAP benefits is nice, but again, it misses the mark just like every time, right? Just like the COLA for fixed income benefits, it's always behind. It's always behind. Anyway, it is a pretty nice big raise though. 12.5% honestly is pretty nice. That's a pretty big raise to be real with you. But anyway, let me talk you through the details about this. I wanna answer some of the maximum benefits you can get now for SNAP benefits. They've increased pretty substantially. And then of course, I wanna talk about the minimum benefit because that's also something we need to take into consideration. And then I also wanna talk about what you need to do to get your benefit if anything. So let's walk through these one at a time here. All right, so let's quickly talk through a list of the maximum benefits you can get as a result of a SNAP beneficiary in uh, you know fiscal year 2023, which starts on October 1st. All right, so here's what it comes down to. As an individual, the maximum SNAP benefit you can get as a one person, an individual, is $281 a month. That is the maximum you can get. Now, of course, you can get less, but the maximum you can get on SNAP benefits as an individual is $281 per month. Now, as a couple, two people living in your household receiving SNAP, you can get up to $516 every single month as two people. Here's what's interesting about it. If you have two individuals living next door to each other, they could both technically get $281 a piece, right? So technically together, that'd be six, uh, sorry, it'd be uh, $562 combined between two people. However, if those people decide to live together, now they can only get $516. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So you get a reduction to benefits if you live together versus if you're just neighbors. Kind of see what I'm saying here? Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because it's a little bit interesting. But next, let's go on to a household of three people. If you're a household of three people, you can get a maximum of $740 every single month. Again, maximum uh, a household of three people, and that's a maximum of $740 per month. Now, here's another one. Four people in your household. And this is all the higher I'm going to go on this. Again, it goes higher and higher, but I'm just going to go up to here because I think this encompasses the vast majority of households out there. But again, not everybody. I completely recognize that not everybody. All right. So if you're a household of four people, you can get a maximum benefit of $939 every single month. That seems pretty good. Almost $1,000 a month for SNAP benefits as a household of four people. Okay. So now remember, that's just up to four. It continues to go on and on up to a household of eight. And then above that, you continue to add um, more per person above that. So they can continue to go on to households bigger than eight people in a household. So again, that's just the examples that I wanted to give in this video. Now let's quickly talk about the minimum benefit. Yep, there's a minimum. And unfortunately, I do know that there are a lot of you here in the community that, that do get the minimum benefit. The minimum benefit for the new fiscal year starting October 1st is $23. So if you're somebody receiving SNAP benefits, uh, just know the minimum benefit you can get on SNAP is 23. Now remember, a couple years ago, the minimum was $16. So you got a whole whopping $7 over the course of about two years, right? So just anyway, I wanted to point that out for you. But again, this to me is very confusing. $23? I mean, seriously? Really? What are they really thinking? Do they really think anybody can get anything these days for $23? Now, don't get me wrong. We, you know, we certainly don't want to, um, you know, bite the hand that feeds us kind of thing. But at the same time, $23, give me a break. What is $23 buy these days? I mean, unless, you know, you're buying really, really cheap food. And again, a lot of people have to these days. But realistically, even buying the cheapest foods out there, $23 is only enough maybe to get somebody by for a couple days. You know, three, more, three, four, maybe five days total buying like really cheap stuff, like little soup cups and, you know, cans of soup if they're on sale, stuff like that. I mean, seriously, $23 is not going to get somebody by for a month. So... Anyway, sorry, I digressed for just a second, but I'm just saying $23. I mean, come on, guys, give everybody a little bit more than that. That's $23. That's, I mean, that's enough for like three, four, five days, maybe buying the cheapest foods. But again, I apologize. I just like to come out sometimes because it's like, you know, people are struggling right now. Do something a little bit better than that, right? But again, that's what the minimum is for the new fiscal year of 2023. So now we got, now I wanna talk about what do you need to do in order to get this benefit? The answer is nothing. 
absolutely nothing. You've got to do nothing. So that's the cool thing about it. Just like the annual cost of living adjustment for fixed income benefits, like all the benefits I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you don't need to do anything. You do not need to enroll. You do not need to apply. You do not need to make a phone call. You do not need to do anything on your app. You do not need to call Congress. Congress does not even need to do anything. Unbelievable, right? That would be awesome. I mean, that's great that we don't need to wait for Congress to do something because we'd be sitting here all day. We'd be sitting here for 10 years waiting for Congress to do something. So we do not need to wait for Congress. This is not an approval out of Congress. This is something that's just automatic. Um, it's already been approved. It's already going to be happening. And these uh, raises will be reflected in your October benefit. So when you receive your benefit anytime after October 1st, your automatic raise will be in there. Now, I do know that a lot of you do have the app for SNAP benefits. Again, you can look on your app and you can see on there, um, I would wait until after October 1st because it's likely not going to show up until after October 1st. But after October 1st rolls around, if you see your benefit pending on your EBT through the app, um, you know, you should see the raise automatically on there. It should be a little bit higher, again, based on a bunch of different factors, including your household size, um, your income, your, your eligibility, like how much you're actually qualified for. There's a whole different, uh, you know, set of factors that go into play, but you should see your new benefit raise as of October 1st. Okay. And this is just for SNAP benefits. Again, I want to make this very clear. So we're all on the same page here. This is just SNAP benefits, supplemental nutrition assistance program, also called food stamps. This is not for fixed income benefits, um, sorry, fixed income benefits like Social Security, SSDI, Retirement, Survivors, SSI, and VA. That raise, the COLA, will be going into effect January 1st, okay? So we have a few more months to go here until we get that raise, but this is, uh, you know, one COLA that we can actually count on right now, you know, and start enjoying it now for the next couple months until we get the COLA for other fixed income benefits. Anyway, there's probably a little bit more I could tell you about this, but realistically, that's all you really need to know about this. The raise, how much the raise is going to be, the percentage of a raise, the minimum benefit, the household sizes as well, and anything you need to do in order to get the benefit. You don't need to do anything. Just show up. Show up on October 1st, as in, when I say show up, I literally mean wake up on uh, October 1st and there you go. Boom, you've made it, okay? <laughs> That's all you gotta do. You just gotta be present to win. That's it, okay? So um, when it comes down to it, that's all you really need to know. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Oh, I guess I can say one more thing here. If you have not applied for SNAP benefits, in fact, I was just out in a video maybe, I don't know, three, three or four days ago, I was out in a video talking about how roughly 14 million seniors aged 60 or older are eligible for SNAP benefits and have not even applied. If you have not applied for SNAP benefits yet, please go ahead and do so. In fact, I'm going to give you a 1-800 number right now that you can call and you can connect with your local office and they can get you hooked up with some SNAP benefits provided you're eligible. All right, get ready. Pen and paper ready? Here we go. 1-800-221-5689. Again, 1-800-221-5689. 5689. I've called the number multiple times myself. It's an automated system. It'll connect you with your local office. Again, one more time now. 1 800 221 5689. Okay. That'll connect you with your local office to apply for SNAP benefits or to talk to somebody about it. Please, if you have not applied, check it out. It's free money to get food. Food is very expensive right now. Anyway, hope this one helps you. Please share this video with your friends, family, social media. Right down below the video. There's a share button right next to the subscribe button. Make sure to subscribe if you have not done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward. Share this video with your friends, family, social media so they can also be aware of what is going on with their SNAP benefits as well as um, you know, they can apply if they haven't done so yet. And also go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Have a good one and I'll catch you